Good morning. I am out here in Mosquito Lagoon and I've got more tailing redfish in front of me. And not only that, the water's clear. And not only that, there's seagrass. And I'm kind of losing my mind right now. <laughs> it's bringing back memories of what this place used to be like. They're all happy right now. I'm in no particular rush to get these fish. I'm just sitting and enjoying some of the sights. We're only gonna be out here for a couple hours this morning. Um, get on a few tailing fish, maybe find a school if we're lucky enough, and try to get off the water by about 11 or 12. But we're gonna try to get uh, a tailor here from this bunch. I see three or four kind of spread out ahead of me right now. Uh, maybe throw the moonwalker if we got some more overcast conditions and maybe find a giant trout. Uh, trout have eluded me for the most part this year and um, we're gonna piece it together. But I am happy to report that we got clear water, we've got seagrass, and we've got tailing fish. So let's see if we can get one on the boat. There they are, right there. Okay. Got him. <laughs> Had to be really, really slow with them, guys. Good fish. Oh, really, really slow. People ask oftentimes, what's your retrieve with the power prawn? And you know, guys, when they're when it's calm out and they're tailing, you gotta present that soft plastic super slow. Really tiny pops off the bottom. All right. Oop, going for a sleigh ride. <laughs> I'm gonna take my fins down. There we go. Oh, nice fish. There we go. Power Prawn is getting it done yet again. Respectable mid slot, maybe top of slot fish for the day. Start the morning off right. I get my net ready. He's probably a little green, but it's good to just be prepared. I'd rather get them in a little bit quicker than carry on the fight longer than it needs to. Whoa, yeah. That's a nice fish. Probably 24, 25 inches. Whoa, oh, did a little. A little flip there last minute. <laughs> Perfect. Gold Digger Power Prawn USA, junior size. Getting it done here on these beautiful mid slot redfish in Mosquito Lagoon. I love it. I give this guy a kiss. Mwah. Thank you, buddy. He's going to kick off. Just been chilling for a second. There you go, buddy. <laughs> Now this is a perfect example right here of what we call a belly crawler. So instead, he's not tailing in the grass or the mud, he's cruising right up against the shoreline and his back is out of the water. So I flipped the power prawn in front of this fish and he absolutely charged it. Oh, he, he hit it. <laughs> he was so on it. I thought I spooked him. <laughs> nice fish. There we go. <laughs> it's so cool to do. All right. Got another fellow gentleman here on the flats. They're probably gonna find a couple more fish along that, that island too. It's enough fish to go around right now. It's in about the same size as the first one this morning. Oh, he is barely hooked. I don't know if I'm actually gonna get this guy or not. <laughs> oh, oh, come on. There we go. Cool. All right. This guy was just belly crawling, if you will, right along the shoreline. You can see his fins sticking out. Beautiful red. It's probably 24, 25 inches, about the same size. We're gonna get this guy back in really quick. Get on some more. Look at that. Hook pops right out. As long as you maintain tension with these fish, you'll be able to, uh, ooh, he's probably gonna, I'm gonna get him in the water quick. As long as you can stay tight on these fish, you don't have to have, ooh, see, there he goes, he's healthy. <laughs> you don't have to have a really, really crazy hook set. You definitely don't need it with a weedless application. You just need to make sure that when you do get a moderate hook set that you just stay tight on the fish. As long as you can stay tight and anticipate their zigzags and where they're gonna move. Even if you don't have a, a hook, you know, like indefinitely lodged in the side of that mouth, you can maintain contact with that fish and still get them in. And it helps make for an easier release. So, not bad. 
there's a big fish here. I don't know if, uh, I don't know where he is, but he's right here. Oh crap, he's right there. Oh. Did he want it? Oh man, he's right there. This fish is like really fired up for some reason. Oh, there's a couple of them, that's why. <laughs> I was working the prawn fast. Happy, happy fish. He's not big. There's just a couple of them, that's what's going on. <laughs> oh, that's cool. All right, I'm gonna let this guy go really green. Easy, easy, easy. There you go. Power Prawn Junior USA, we pop this guy out. It's actually just getting ready to tie on a, a different lure on one of my setups. And these guys just popped up out of nowhere. <laughs> That's cool. Now this fish right here was a really nice surprise. I broke off one of these on a recent trip a few weeks back and that prompted me to tie on 30 pound monofilament leader. And I'm so glad that I did because I was able to land this really nice fish. Oh my gosh. Wow. Is that a trout or snook? Oh my gosh, what is that? I don't know, but I have 30 pound on this time. Looks like a nice snook. Get out, dude. Sweet. <laughs> Pays to have 30. That's cool. All right, I'm gonna have to loosen off my drag here a little bit. He was just chilling on that corner. Oh, I don't wanna rush these fish. Okay, nice. Nice. <laughs> Whoa, loose drag. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come in here. Ooh. Oh, he's in the net. Oh, I got him. Nice snook. Sweet. Just right here off this point. We had some cloud cover pop up and, you know, I, I've never been one to be like, oh, after a certain time point, you shouldn't throw a topwater. Throw topwater when the conditions are right. Got some cloud cover and this guy, this is the first cast right here off that point. Oh. Let me get this guy out. <laughs> Woo! Snook on the moonwalker. This cloud cover came in. This guy was hanging off here at the point. Nice. That back hook got caught in the uh, in the net, but the front front hook got him pretty good. I'm just gonna try to pop these out very carefully. My pliers. Ooh! Actually, it went through his lip through another slot. And then back out again. Sweet. Let's let this guy go. And grab that tail. There he goes. <laughs> Need a little tickle. So up until this point, I've already had what I consider to be a really successful day. Got some nice redfish tailing in the grass, uh, you know, a nice red right up against the shoreline, belly crawling, and a surprise snook on top water. I didn't think the day could get any better until I found this back bay that was extremely shallow, crystal clear, and the thickest amount of seagrass that I've seen all day. Even though this fish wasn't very big, this was the epitome of my trip right here. Got him. <laughs> Saw him bolt over to it. That was pretty cool. Very cool. Not a big one, but guys, you tell me. Is that is that redfish tailing in crystal clear seagrass or what? Am I losing my mind? Is this is this 2007 right now? Because it certainly feels that way. <laughs> He's a little guy too. He's only like 20 inches or so, but so awesome to see. Uh, oh, easy. Easy. Just gonna handle them very easy. There you go. Oh, love it. Oh my gosh. Just take a minute to relish in this, you know? Look at that. Beautiful blue tail, green on the head, T boned, <laughs> the power prawn. Pop this guy out and let him go so he can get back to his eating. Oh, I love it when they have salad hanging off their head. <laughs> oh, I see another redfish just 
took off right there. See you, buddy. Oh, can you ask for a more perfect day? I don't think so. <laughs> I gotta be honest, I don't know what more convincing you need. <laughs> These Power Prawn USA Juniors in the Gold Digger color has caught every single tailing redfish today. I, I mean, I've probably caught in the past couple weeks over 10 fish on, on one lure. It's actually on this one right here that ripped off. I got three or four on it, and then on that on one of my fish today, it ended up pulling off the twist lock. But I mean, you get one, two, three, four, five, six to a pack, guys. Like this is gonna last you a while, and this is gonna catch a bunch of fish. So definitely get yourself some. And then the cherry on top of today was this trick shot right here. Oh my God, it, it landed in his mouth. <laughs> no way. It landed in his mouth. I didn't even have time to close the bail. <laughs> I'm almost back to the ramp and I'm seeing a couple little redfish belly crawling. So uh figured why not just pluck away at these little guys. They're certainly fun. As you can see, that 0% chance of rain, that inaccurate information here in the lagoon. Wow, look at how blue your tail is. Hey, <laughs> little guy munching on some some scrimps, cool. Little puppy drum, finish off the day. This gold digger power prawn. Ugh. It's gotten it done on every single fish today. Whoa, he's gonna take off. Oh, there we go. See you, buddy. <laughs> All right, let's head on back to the ramp. Call it a day. Hey guys, if you want to find out where the best spots are for redfish in your backyard, you got to check out this new software we built for saltwater anglers. This tool will predict where the best fishing spots will be based on real-time trends, tides, weather, wind, and so much more. We even have these smart spots that show you exactly where to fish based on the conditions every day. You're going to have access to sonar, radar, satellite maps, and even this crazy detailed 3D shaded relief that reveals hidden structure and ledges. All the secret stuff you never even knew was there. So if you want a tool that's going to help give you a massive advantage on the water, you got to come join us in our Insider Club over at saltstrong.com. Hope to see you guys there soon.